What's going on everyone? It's me Marco from PhoneDog.com and it's day 22 of the G-Flex challenge and today is going to be a lot different from most of your 30 day challenges here at PhoneDog.com. Why? Because this is the G-Flex and it's basically built to be sort of indestructible. I guess not really but it's supposed to be able to take some abuse, some scratches, some flexibility and we're just going to test out how well this phone goes with being flexed, being scratched, and seeing how fast it heals. And we're also going to point out a problem that I've experienced over the past 22 days, and that includes the fingerprints that accumulates on the G-Flex and sort of the debris that it catches on its back and also the front. So let's get into day 22 of the G-Flex challenge. <laughs> So one of the main purposes of the G-Flex is obviously to flex. We've made a video on this before and well, we saw that the phone did indeed flex. So how this phone feels in the hand is just rigid. It feels exactly like a normal device that doesn't flex, that's made out of something that's sturdy like plastic or metal. But when you do bend this phone, the phone actually moves. Now it creaks a little bit, but it doesn't snap in half and it still feels plenty sturdy. Now it's not going to fold in half, so don't try. The other part of this durable stuff focuses on the back. It's this weird slippery material that somehow mends itself within minutes of scratching. So here I have my trusty sharp key, and here's something you should never do to your phone, unless it's self-healing like the G-Flex. After those seconds of absolute pain and torture, and a few minutes of waiting, the phone is absolutely fine. The deeper scratches may take a little bit longer, but most of them actually do heal. Kind of crazy, huh? As I said earlier, the phone has one or two traits that I could live without. The phone absolutely sticks to everything. Anything that it picks up around in dirt, pocket lint, it just kind of magnetizes to them and it sticks to them like nothing else. Also, it does pick up quite a lot of fingerprints. And this is just not like your standard fingerprints that you see on your iPhone or HTC One. This picks up a lot and I do mean a lot of fingerprints perhaps it's the plastic they use so the LG G flex is durable it can take being sat on or perhaps being keyed a few times but it's not water resistant like the Z1 or the upcoming S5 so does it really need to be probably not but I'll leave that up to you so we have a few more days left in the G flex challenge so let me know what else you'd like to see from the G flex challenge in a comment below and also if you found this video helpful funny or none of the above hit that like button for me and let me know that you like this video send your tweets questions and comments to at phone dog underscore Marco on Twitter and thanks for watching and see you next time